Hello, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist and today we're going to be talking to you about pipelines and neighborhoods. Well, that's not a smart thing to have. I'm in uh, Highlands, Texas, right on the corner of Highlands and Baytown and I'm standing on a pipeline crossing, probably one that I worked on several years back. I made many of them. I used to, that's what I used to do. My dad was a pipeliner all my life and we traveled all over the world and the country putting pipe into a ditch and uh, as you can see we have crude oil pipeline, propylene propylene is badass stuff propylene, ethylene is even worse, that's some really wicked stuff uh, and then we have a petroleum pipeline at least crossing right here there's another pipeline crossing down there where there's several different kinds of going across. This is right in the middle of a neighborhood. There's a park right on the other side, uh, a little park named after the first uh, president or the first president of the Republic of Texas, I believe it is, David J. Burnett. And it's right across the street from where I'm at. It actually goes right through that park, the pipeline does. We'll get a shot of that in just a second. Uh, so anyhow, it's a very dangerous thing if you buy a house or you own a house near a pipeline, don't, because they will blow up. Uh, we worked on a pipeline one time that blew up in the middle of a neighborhood in Houston, and there was one of our guys was killed on it. Uh, he was blown to bits, as a matter of fact, uh, and it destroyed some buildings and some houses. So you've got to watch these things. We used to do this. What I used to do in a former life was go out and refurbish these things. When they blew out, I would go back and replace them. I used to work building them, and then when the work got slow, I was kind of like the Red A, Red A Dare and Boots and Coots type of stuff. Uh, we would go out and replace these uh, exploded gas lines and put them, refurbish them back. Uh, we would put them out and then, you know, work on them again. Uh, we've had, you know, I have a lot of friends get hurt doing that. I've been hurt a couple of times doing that stuff. It's a very, very dangerous work. And it's very, very dangerous having pipelines running through a neighborhood. Sorry, that's just not right. Be very aware, homeowners.